G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to work out the total surface area of shapes. Okay, so uh, basically what the total surface area is, it's a combine of a solid, say, of this shape, uh, or another shape we're going to be having a look at. It's basically the combined area of all these external outside uh, surfaces. Okay, so we, could, we might have this, uh, say, as uh, where we had it as a rectangular prism or a triangular prism or... Uh, even a cylinder or something like this. So, but the the way that you work them out is fairly similar each time. So, the steps that you do when you want to work out the total surface area are as follows. First, pretty much, what you have to do is you have to find the area of each face. Okay. So, the way I typically do this, say for a shape as this, is I I, I do this a little bit unconventionally. I think um, I, people tend to do this nice working out here and number things. I actually tend to do this. I tend to have a lot of arrows when I do this and have, say, I'm pointing at this shape here. Okay, so first off, what is the area of this shape here? Okay, so we have a length here, which is 20 centimeters. And we have a width here of this particular rectangle here, which is the same as this one, 15 centimeters. Okay, because the area is length times width. So what we're going to do here is we multiply these guys together. So 20 times 15 is 300 centimetres squared. Okay, uh, now the next one we're going to be having a look at is, say, we choose a different one. We're not going to choose this one because this one's identical to this. So I'm going to choose one of the other sides. Say, I'll choose this one here. Okay. And the way that we work this, this is another rectangle, okay, but it's, look, it's on a bit of a slant, so this is also going to be an area equals length times width, so we get a length, which is going to be, uh, say, 8 centimetres, and this is going to be by the width, which is 15 centimetres. So, what do we get when we multiply these two guys together? 15 times 8 is 120 centimetres squared. Okay, and the next one I'd get now is I'm going to be looking not at this one, not at this one. Can you spot the one we're looking at? We're going to be looking at this one right here. Okay, and if you're really uncertain of which ones you've already worked out, the way you might do it is this. You might go to the corner of your shape here and you're going to be doing this one here, okay, where the, this one of the corner Okay, so we've got this one here, we've done this one of the corner, and now we're going to be looking at this one of the corner. Okay, so the way that we do this is as follows. It's another rectangle, we're going to do length times width, which is the same as the length, which is 20 centimetres. And we're going to be multiplying this by this height here, or the, which is going to be 8 centimetres. And what we get is we get 20 times 8, and we get 160 centimeters squared now first off we've, we've, we've gone through we've multiplied all these now we can go through, well there's also a number of other sides that we have to work out we get to work out this side here but what we might realize is that this side here is the same as this side over here okay so we're going to get this answer here and we're going to multiply it by two we have a similar side to this side here that's down here okay we're going to be multiplying this by two and we're going to have a similar side to this front side, which is this back side here. And so we're going to multiply this by two. So we've got on each of our boxes here, we've got a complementary side on the other side, which is exactly the same area. And then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply these by two. So I'll do that right now. And I'll put them underneath. So 300 times two, uh, 300 centimetres squared by two is 600 centimetres squared. Uh, we have... 120 times 2, which is 240 centimetres squared. And then we have 160 centimetres squared by 2, which is 320 centimetres squared. And finally, what we'd have to do is, because it's the total surface area, what the, the total of these guys are together, we're going to add all these together. So 600 plus 240 plus 320. If we add all these up together, you'll get the answer of 
160 centimetres squared. Okay, so just a couple of things to recap on that one again. When you get these sort of questions, I tend to, you know, it's good to go to a corner and you might get these one of the corner, this one of the corner, and this one of the corner. So that each each uh, particular uh, part of the corner there. And then you're also going to be working, you so you work at the area of those, and then to work at the area on the other side, you just multiply them by two. Okay, so we worked out all those, then we add them all together. Okay, because it's a total surface area. So we work at the surface area one, two, three, double it, and then add them together. Um, so that's nice and easy. That's a fairly uh, simple thing to do. What about we have a look at a bit more of a, a bit more complicated shape, which is this one here. Now, Look, I really recommend, with, obviously, when you're doing these, look at the shape you've got, and you might think, well, how am I going to solve this? This is a triangular solid, and what you're going to realise is it has the same triangle here, front and back, so we can work that out, the triangle out, and double it. But we have a, an individual side here that's not replicated twice. We have a, this an individual side on the bottom here, and this diagonal side is also different. There are three different rectangles on each side of this, uh, the, on the non-face sides. So let's have a look at this. Let's first work out uh, the area of these triangles. Okay, so I'll put an arrow going there. You might, I know it's very easy to, to get maybe confused of what I'm, which ones I'm looking at. So I'm looking at this particular triangle here. Okay, so how, what's the area of a triangle? It's the area for a triangle is half the base times the height which is equal to this triangle here. We have a the base here, which is eight centimeters. So half of that is four centimeters times the height, which is six centimeters. So four centimeters times six centimeters is 24 centimeters squared. Okay, now there's two lots of these. There's one, two, so straight away I can double this. So times two, and that equals, I'll write it here in different colours so it shows up, uh, I'll put it in red, is 48 centimetres squared. Okay, so we worked out the area of our two triangles. Okay. The next thing we do is we have three rectangles we're going to work out. Okay, so we've got this rectangle uh, here. We've got this rectangle which is going to be on the bottom which is here, and we've also got this rectangle at the back, which is here. Okay, so let's work these out. Uh, okay, so first off we have this particular triangle here, this diagonally shaped triangle, which the area is length times the width, so which is six by 10 centimeters, six centimeters by 10 centimeters, which is equal to, I'll put it in red as well, 60 centimeters squared we have now we have this bottom one here which is another rectangle which is eight by six centimeters so eight centimeters times six centimeters which is equal to six eighths are 48 centimeters squared and finally we have this back rectangle here which is six by six, so six centimeters by six centimeters, which equals six sixes to thirty six centimeters squared. Okay, so now what we have to do to work out the total surface area is we're going to add all of our different areas together forty eight plus sixty plus forty eight plus thirty six. And if you add all these together, what answer do you get? you get this answer of 192 centimetres squared. So that's how you work out the total surface area. Uh, how'd you go with that? What about, I, I wasn't going to, but I might add just one more to this. So what about if we do um, this particular shape? So I'm going to have to do this bit of a shape on the fly, okay? So let's have a look. Uh, it's going to be this sort of shape. Uh, what about if we have I'll we'll see how this goes. You know the shape I'm going to draw here. Uh, say we have 
by a cylinder. Okay, so there's our cylinder. All right, so if we will say working out the total surface area of a cylinder, it's going to be slightly different, isn't it? But what you might realise is this. This is a bit more tricky now, but you have a couple of different shapes here. So first off, I'll put some dimensions on the types of dimensions we need. All we really need for this is we need a height. So say I'll make this uh, a nice easy height. I'm going to make it 10 centimetres. And I'm going to make this diameter here the whole way across. Actually, I'll be, I won't be that cute. I'll just call it the radius here. The radius is the halfway point. And I'll call the radius from here to here. Um, let's just call it, say, something small like two centimetres and no really not the scale there I did that typical math teacher thing of drawing a line that's totally not the scale it's obviously not two centimetres as that's ten okay in fact it's gonna bother me that much I'm gonna fix it up and make that into uh, let's call it let's call it four centimetres okay <laughs> all right so how would you go about working out the total surface area of this now what you might realize is we have a circle at the top a circle at the bottom and we also have this way, this rectangular shape. We were to get this and, and open this up, we would end up with a rectangular shape. You might get that if we were to, say, get a toilet. If you're not sure of this, get a toilet roll and cut it along one edge and un undo it and see what you get. You're going to get this nice rectangular shape. The length, which is going to be the distance all around this circle, and the width, or the height here, which is going to be this height here, this 10. Okay, so there's a couple of things we have to work out. We have to work out the area of our circles. And also, we have to work out what this length here is going to be. Okay, so let's do that. So first off, uh, we let's let's work out the circles on top. So if we do do that, draw a circle. So that's what we know we're working out. The way that we would do this is this is equal to pi r squared. And because there's two of them, I'm going to times our answer by two. So if we were to do this right now, let's have a look. At our particular answer. I'm going to pull the calculator up because we're using the pi. So I'll put this calculator up here and I'll use it in a second and we'll what we'll do is we'll modify some numbers in. So first off what we're going to do is we're going to get pi r squared. Pi is pi. The radius is 4 and we're going to square that. So 4 times 4 times 2. And if we would do this we're going to get the answer here of I'll do this right now. We'll clear this other number up. We've got pi times 4 times 4 times 2. And this is equal to 100.53. I'm, I'm just going to call it 100.5. I think that will suffice. So 100.5 centimetres squared. And that's for both the top and the bottom because we doubled it by times it by 2. Okay, um, so now what we got, there are our two circles. We're also going to work out the area of our particular, uh, this, this particular rectangle shape. If we were to get this, um, this part here and chop it here and undo it, we would end up with this shape that was a rectangle. That was 10 centimetres high, but this would be equal to the circumference of our circle. Okay, so first off let's work out what this circumference is. Okay, so the circumference of the circle we can work out as follows. The circumference is equal to 2 pi r. So this is equal to 2 times pi times 4. So let's work out what this is. Okay, I'll move the calculator here, clear that up. 2 times pi times 4. 25.1 so let's call it 25.1 centimetres. So what we're left with is we're left with a rectangle where the circumference is now going to be 25.1. So the area of this particular shape is going to be, I'll write the formula here, area equals the length times the width because it's a rectangle. And we've now worked out the, the length and the width we've got this is basically the length, uh, we're going to call this 20, uh, we'll call this 10 centimetres. And this is going to be times 25.1 centimetres, which is going to be equal to, 
basically you can probably see it straight away 251 centimeters squared so total surface area total surface area you say it's always very really easy with these to lose plot of what you're doing we're going to add these guys together so 100.5 here and we're going to add this to 251 okay i'll write that one down 100.5 centimeters squared plus 251 centimeters squared and our answer is going to be i would be saying 351.5 centimeter squared so how did you go with those okay that was just meant to show you how to work them out look i seriously reckon sitting down and learning formulas for these except for the ones of how you would work out uh you know a circle or a square or a rectangle or a triangle i, I don't think going beyond that for working out total surface area, these big long strings of formulas you can get i don't think they're overly useful a lot of time i think it's a lot better to try and actually break it down yourself and try to do it that way I think conceptually you'll feel a lot better about what you're doing rather than just coming out with these seemingly very random numbers. Anyway, I hope that was of some help. We'll, we'll see you next time. Okay, bye.